this is a look I am planning on doing when I'm in Hawaii. Um, one of my lamps died, so if the lighting is even worse than usual, that's why. So all I have is that one. Um, so this is a look I plan on doing in Hawaii, and it's using the Surf Baby, like, the crushed pigments, and the eyeshadow, eyeliner, all that jazz. Um, so I want to try this one out just because it's a more dramatic look than most of the other days. Like, if I do anything semi-dramatic, it's on my lips so that I can change from day to night the t plan on going out because I hope I don't have to change this because I pretty much have to take all my makeup off. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. I already did this eye, obviously. That was the one I closed, close up. Um, so I started with... I have to use my Shady Lady mirror in here my mirror over there, you're not going to be able to see anything, so, um, I started with the very seafoam green color that came in, this one was the Surf the Ocean one, and this is the one everyone's been raving about, like, it's the seafoam tealy green color, and so I'll take a brush, whatever eyeshadow brush you want to use. I'm using a 313. Two, two, one, three, two, one, three. And I just use, because they've got these little pans to protect them from spilling all over or getting on the bottom of the one on top of it because they're stacked. Um, I just use the shadow off of there because why be wasteful and it's so much easier than dipping your whole brush in a bunch of pigments and then coming out with a mess so I pop this in pretty much my half a little over half because it helps blend it if I went further and I wanted this color to like because the second eyeshadow I use isn't a pigment so I wanted to bring this one over that one just enough to like give it that metallic-y sheen. Try to make it so you guys can see. And I already put my Urban Decay Primer Potion and all that on. I do feel like you really have to layer these on to get like even color. Otherwise, they kind of get kind of blotchy. But they're so pretty, and like it's not much harder than working with an eyeshadow that just doesn't glide on perfect. Alright, and then the second eyeshadow I use is the actual eyeshadow in Surf USA, which is a frost. So it's got some sheeny color to it. And I pop that on basically the rest of the lid. I don't actually have to go too far in the corner because I pop another one in there, but it kind of adds to the blending if I do a few layers, as long as I'm not caking it on, which isn't what this look is about. Just pop that on the other half. And now I just took a moment to blend those together. So I could focus on getting them together and blended. So you just blend kind of the pigment over the eyeshadow. Go through and you can like blend in the crease. Kind of clean it up if it goes too high. You know, nothing to really too fussy about because it is supposed to be almost like a smoky teal eye. And then the last color I'm going to use is the dark blue in Surf, uh, Surf the Wave, Surf the Ocean, the really dark blue. And you can put that on with whatever you prefer to put crease colors or corner colors on with. I'm using just a Sunny Cusack. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the crease brush or a blending brush. I'm not sure what they had it labeled. I like MAC. Uh, the eyeliner smudging pencil, I think, is what it is. But I can't find it, so that makes it very hard to use. 
So this one's a little bigger, so it's not as precise, which I like precise, especially for a dark color, but at least you can blend it. Or you could even use, like, the MAC 275, the angled one. That's even less controlled for me. And so I just let that... I like putting on pigments and eyeshadow wet. Like, I really rarely put it on dry unless it's impossible to get color payoff with wet. So, and then I just pop this in the very corner. Because I don't want to take too much away from the other colors. But I wanted to give it dimension and a little bit of smokiness on the corner. Then you just drag it up into the crease. At least these are kind of nice because the fact that they do need some work to, like, make even is I like them for crease colors. Like, because they're not too intense where it's like you have a huge line going across your crease before you even blend it. So you just blend that in the corner. You can bring it up and do kind of a corner thing if you want. Especially if you want to make it more nighttime, you could do like liquid liner, gel liner, and your top lashes. This is something I think you can make day or night. Then sometimes I just like to go back and touch up my first color because if when you blend them, sometimes your skin tone does come through instead of like actual color. And then I kind of blended the teal more into the blue than the other way around, but just so that you don't have a solid line is good. So that's everything for eyeshadows. Um, if you did do a more dramatic one, you could bring the blue down your lash line on the bottom. Just clean that up. Alright. And then I curl my lashes and put on a coat of mascara right away. I've already accepted I make funny faces when I do that. I've tried to stop and it just doesn't work. The last thing I want to care about is my face, like the rest of it, when I'm trying to curl my lashes. My kitty just decided to plop down on my lap, apparently it's comfy. And while this is, I'm wearing this for daytime, it is kind of m more dramatic than any other look that I'm doing. More colorful, maybe not more dramatic, but more colorful. I'm wearing a white shirt and blue jeans with this, and then just some makeup that has some teal in it, or makeup that has teal in it, and then jewelry that has some teal in it. So to kind of bring both elements in. But otherwise, so my look's going to be pretty everyday, and then with semi-colorful makeup, I think it'll kind of, it's better than with this shirt, it's really dramatic and it does match, but I mean it's not wear this at night even it's like cropped and really cute. Um, so that's that done. And then I have to wait for my lashes to dry. And then we'll come back to it. So for my cheeks and my lips, I decided to go more pink toned. Um, I have a lot of coral tone days just because it's summer and I really like coral for summer. So I've been trying to like, I tried to pick some looks to do pinks in just because I really like and it does look pretty nice with the sunshine and summery looks. And, but I just have been having a coral rush. And plus, some of my outfits, it's like perfect for corals. You could do this in a coral look easily. Like the blue isn't, even though it's like cooler tones, I think it would look really good with like the My Paradise blush powder. Um, using a little less gold, I would think, just so that it doesn't compete with the sparkle up there. And what's another one that would be really pretty? Well, your cheeks or lips, you could do like Everhip or even Shy Girl for a permanent one. Love Nectar, you know, just kind of more peachy nudes. Uh oh, my alarm just went off. I'm gonna go turn that off. Okay. 
forgot about that. Alright, so then I'm just taking a blush brush. I can't find my MAC one, so I'm using this one. I can't ever find them. This is the Hello Kitty one, and this is Giggly brush, Blush. And this is so sweet, so easy. I don't know if I said that. Now I'm trying to, like, rush, because I feel like... I don't know. I'm talking too much, as usual. And just do Giggly on both sides. And I kind of mix cream and blush, because it helps it have staying power. Like, the, the cream soaks a little bit more into your skin, and then the sh it, like, grabs onto the powder, and the powder sets it, is how I feel it works. I don't know if that's right. Oh, I shouldn't try to put these away until I'm done, because I make the whole thing shake that my camera's sitting on. And then I just take Pink Power, any highlight will do. Um, Amber Diamonds is a huge one I've been hearing about that I really want to get for Hawaii. But I ran out of money pretty fast, so everything I make this weekend is going to Hawaii, and, like, that's not a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. I just do it on top of my cheeks, on the very top part of my nose. Don't do it too far down here if you've got oily skin that'll break through, which I do. <laughs> and then I do it as the highlight on my brow bone. So cheekbone, brow bone, bridge of your nose, top bridge of your nose. And you can also bring it down and do it right on the top of your lip in the little cupid's bow. And I just used a MAC 109 just because it's littler. It's like a mini blush brush. Um, debating if I want to do my... I'll finish my lips and then I'll go back. I'm just using Lady Gaga. Even though I'm not sure how I feel about this, it was kind of like a, oh, that might look nice. Oh, there's my concealer brush. I was trying to find that when I did my concealer and stuff. Um, it might look too dramatic. ADHD, sorry. Don't actually have it, but I swear sometimes. Um, so this is the lipstick. And if I do look over there, it's because my mirror's there. And as long as I know I can stay in frame, I'll just look in that mirror and do it. Because this mirror is harder to hold. And I just do it for my eyes because I know I'd be, like, this close to the mirror. And you'd never see anything. Okay. I don't think that's too bad, but it's definitely very cool toned. Like, blues and then also pink, like, in the Lady Gaga. I like it though. It looks different than all my other looks. So, plus it's like Lady Gaga isn't it? It's, it's basically like Saint Germain, but like sheer. <laughs> Cause that's an amplified cream, Saint Germain, and this one is a luster. So it just goes on, not quite as thick and like it's more sheer toned. And then the lip gloss on top. If I really wanted to, I could switch to a different lip gloss, and then it'd be a lot less cool toned and not as intense. Okay, none of my teeth. Good. Alright, now we'll just finish up eyes because I always get nervous that my video is going past time and I keep meaning to like time myself and I never do. But now that I know how to crop it down, that helps. Or, or at least break it up. But for one look I feel a little guilty breaking it into two videos. Alright, now I'm lining my lower lash line, not my waterline, with the Blue Noon pencil that came with Sir Baby. And I just kind of go in with my finger and just kind of rub it. So it softens it just a little. Alright, now usually I do pull my lashes and stuff up while I do my water lines, but this time I won't just because, ooh, just dropped my nail polish. <sighs> this time I won't just because with the mirror, yeah. It's hard to hold. I'm 